Our next guest is only 22 years old. <laughs> but for the last eight years, Samuel Carvalho has been battling a medical condition that causes him to faint unexpectedly at any moment, putting his life in danger on a daily basis. My well, doctors are baffled by his condition and have been unable to diagnose or cure his mysterious blackouts. But ten months ago, Samuel decided enough was enough, and after an extensive research, he found Lola, a young Labrador who's being trained to sense when he is about to collapse, and they both join us now. She is absolutely gorgeous, and it's she lovely to is. meet her. Obviously, slightly unusual circumstances yes, being, lots being of new in a people. studio today. She's going to tell um, you, she's, 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 this is unusual <laughs> because what, what you have, and we'll talk about that in just a second, you know, there the, the really is no blueprint here for you to train her to spot when no, your blackouts are going to happen. It was a, a gamble, a gamble that is paying off, um, but not even doctors or professional dog trainers who do um, medical detection understand what she's picking up yeah. on. But she is definitely, she sensing, is definitely something. sensing something. something. Um, so let's start with you, because eight years ago, th this all began to happen for you. What, yeah. what was it? It starts off with your heart rate, wasn't it? Yes, I was just sitting at home watching TV and suddenly I felt my heart just racing. Um, not felt it before, unless I was really exercising. Um, and I just, it just didn't feel right, so I popped to my GP. Um, a nurse came out and felt my pulse. And she wasn't happy with it. She hooked me up to an ECG machine, which showed my heart rate was doing about 270 beats wow, a minute. Wow, and it should be between 60 and 60 and 100. I was lying down in the bed, so yes, it should be. Um, so she immediately called the ambulance and took me off to hospital. So once that, once that, it calmed down of its own accord. Yes. And then that's when the the blackout started. Yes. So over the eight years, I had one to three blackouts a year. Um, but before them, I had the same symptoms most people would before they faint. So you feel dizzy, tunnel vision, um, and that sort of allowed me to break my falls. Um, but then a, a year and a half ago, the, the collapse has sort of intensified. So it went from being a few a year to a few a week or a few a day. Yeah. Um, but most importantly, the, the symptoms before a collapse disappeared. That's terrifying. So you can let her go and play with Luna. Yes, if you want to. go on. Do you want to go? Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, she's like yeah. that. Oh, oh she, she wants to smell the rug. They all love this rug, the dogs. <laughs> I mean, incredibly dangerous because if you've got no warning, then you. <laughs> <It's a> lead. <laughs> <It's a> lead. <laughs> If you've got absolutely no warning, then she, you can drop when you're crossing a road. Yes, or... it's, it's happened when I've been walking down uh, a main road and I've collapsed and fell into the road. Oh Fortunately, my. the driver was paying attention yeah. and he stopped. If he hadn't, he would have gone basically over my head. <laughs> but, but, the, but the reason you're on here is I saw your story on, on, on Twitter and one of the pictures that you posted was you with your smashed up face. Yes. Which is and a regular thing for me. <laughs> so, so, um, so that the, there is no clue as to what this could be. No clue. All the hospitals I've been to, some of them are leading in heart problems, um, and they haven't got a clue what's going on. They they've tried all medication, beta blockers, um, calcium channel blockers, none of them work. Um, so they decided to stop all heart medication. Um, because it was making me worse, the, yeah. the side right. effects were exhaustion. So, so what is the hope um, with Lola then? I mean, because like you said, she's giving signals at the moment that, yeah. that give you a bit of a clue, or is it not quite that honed she's, yet? She, it's, it's not that honed. She's, she gives you a little uh, sort of a second or two warning, um, and if you don't catch that, she's back to being a full puppy. And what does she do? She can lie across my feet. If I'm sitting on the floor, she likes to burrow under my knees and stay there, sort of to keep me there. Um, oh, wow. If I'm wandering around, she'll stay glued to me. She won't let me out of her sight. Um, if I've popped out of the room, sometimes when I go upstairs and she's not, she doesn't usually come upstairs, she's sitting at the bottom of the stairs staring at me. When I come out of the room, she's staring right at me and that's, it's her sort of not letting me out of her Does sight. Does even, even oh, wow. if you get two or three seconds notice, at least you can get low, get low or yeah. you can uh, get away from yes. the wall because you, you your head has made a made a dent in the in the wall hasn't it it's it's gone through two plaster walls and my just collapse has gone straight through it what does this do to your 22 years old what does it do to your life well it takes away your independence i can't just go out for a stroll on my own anymore um, even with somebody walking by a river or by a road um, even simple as getting on a train is dangerous because if i collapse at that moment even when I'm, I'm out with my partner, Ashley, if I, we're going to cross the road, you've got to press the button to cross the road. Yeah. I, I can't do that. If I do that, and that moment I collapse, yeah. I fall into the road. So I stand back from the and road. And she's only 18 as well, so I mean, she, she's, and she's essentially your carer. She, she is, yeah, and it's impressive. And she, she takes it in her stride. She, the paramedics and doctors, they, 
the, can't believe how well she takes it. She's so calm, collective. Yeah. And I, I guess the other brilliant thing about having Lola as well, and we've spoken to people on the sofa that have um, dogs, medical dogs, for this reason is if you were to collapse in the street and she sits by you, people will know, will understand more, well, yes. as opposed to a busy life walking around town, somebody kept saying, oh, God, what's wrong with them? Or yeah. people don't judge quite so quickly. No, no, yes. She, she likes to, if I collapse, she likes to bring me round. So she, what I say, it's sort of the equivalent to a paramedic shaking your shoulders and pinching. She'll pour up my shoulders, mm -hmm. she'll lick my face. She tries, as if she tries to roll me over, trying to check my airway, she's always trying to, once she's reassured, she'll sort of sit back, but she won't leave me, um, usually, Ashley or someone else will take her back at the yeah. moment. Someone She's used to have dogs are incredible. Aren't they? It is just incredible. Are just... And what's your hope? Um, ideally, I'd love the collapses to stop, but the doctors don't think that's going to ever happen. Um, so being able to manage it in a safer way. So if she's able to give me warnings, I can just sit down, lie down. Um, I will most likely still collapse. The collapses happen in any position, yeah. but collapsing back. They in can the happen even or, when you're even when you're lying down. Even when I'm lying down, like, even in the hospital, I've, I've been lying down. I've just gone out and you're out for wow. how long when you go it can be 30 seconds last saturday it was 10 minutes i was on the kitchen for 10 minutes Doc, paramedics can bring me around oh my gosh yeah it's so scary wow that it really, really is scary, scary for you well i mean uh, that, uh, once again you know we we're, i think we're only just beginning to scratch the surface of what dogs can do i for believe us. They, some of them detect cancer it's amazing yeah yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, she's gorgeous she's she gorgeous is. thank she's you for bringing her in to meet us today <laughs>